everyone today i'm going to do an exciting video of finally um finishing the um b6 insert my travelers notebook insert for those of you that are new if i'm going to say tn that is short for travelers notebook and yeah so i took this little insert with me it's a 48 page um um one of those i think it's called paper heaven combo and i got mine on etsy and the store is called good impressions i really like these just because they're super chic i would highly recommend if you're new to tomorrow paper or in general different papers and you're trying to find something perfect for your particular style of illustrations i would highly recommend you get this uh, heaven combo paper uh, insert because it has four different papers and it gives you a good indication of what uh, you might enjoy with your style so let's have a look at this so this is the insert that i was intending to take with me on the little week break that we had and i basically um finished it and had only three pages left which i finished off um the night we came and then the next day as well and it's it's now done so i want to do a little flip through so here i've got a, a little page i have torn out and i typically str um, try to somehow save a page if i don't like it and it was really not nice the one i had the first one and i tried to save it i applied some washi tape some stickers and it just did not work so in the end i just decided to uh, tear it all out and it's not my favorite paper uh, in terms of sketching i do prefer it for writing and um, so i didn't mind to tear it off basically so, in case you wonder, this is the ATGSM Premium Clairefontaine Paper in white. This white is like a bluish white. Like I said, it's great for writing, but I don't like it so much for illustrating. So, I saved the page on the back because obviously if you tear it off here, you're going to have the same page right at the back. And this is the page that I that i saved and done some illustrating on it with some pencils and just watercolor and on the eyes and i, I called it mixing blacks because i basically um, mixed a variety of blacks with yellow red and blue if you just keep on adding three colors together you will get like a bluish um, like a bluish black or a reddish black or quite a true black which i have here and that's what i've been doing when you look at her eyes around here and you think that might look quite different it's basically the um waterman ink so this is this ink and when i made the the video before leaving i afterwards actually decided to empty this um converter i have in my lamy pan which i had the carbon ink inside and it was kind of almost finished anyway and i decided to um, basically load it with the waterman ink and just you know experiment with it while i was away so let's do the little flip through so on the first page i decided because i didn't like this paper for watercolor how it looks on this paper i then um, have my jane devonport art quotes i quite like her quotes and i thought it'd be good to keep them to write them down and maybe someday adding them to my illustrations as well so that's um all that's here uh, this is probably my favorite one pain till you faint <laughs> that that is the uh the motto and um so i've got a little bit of um page uh, almost two pages left to fill with quotes now this page was something i have gone back onto and worked um with it i added some washi tapes and um, done some more illustrating and some bit of writing just kind of jazzing it up a little bit i had some swatches here which i didn't like so i covered them up with these um coffee um washies 
and that's that on this page I have done the uh, writing for this page which um, I illustrated and then also added some of these Tim Holtz stickers which I basically took with me and I have gone through quite a few as you can see I'll show you quickly so you have three pages of white and three pages of black so that gives you an indication um, how enjoyable they are I'm going through them really quickly so I'll make sure to order a backup just in case they um, go out of stock but I love the top right um, uh, typewriter font and the black and the white looks really great so that was that that's just something new I have tried and I will do a tutorial I promised you to do a tutorial on these and they are um, quite nice to combine just watercolor swatches very quickly to indicate um, sort of like a um, decolletage of a, of a um, dress and then just kind of loosely uh, scribbling faces so I will do that it's a very simple one and then I started kind of um, so the next one this was a new this was a blank page so they're not in a uh, in a um, this paper is the second type of the paper and it's the Tamoy River 50 to GSM and this is the white paper and so here is a little um, doll that I started uh, illustrating this isn't the first one I'll show you which one the first one so here I've just done um, a little um, addition of a watercolor paper so this is a very um, thick 300 GSM but it works quite well nonetheless I mean Tamoy River being 52 GSM is really thin but it does hold up quite nicely so I just used some washi tape to stick this and I thought it looks quite nice. Um, this illustration so I just cut it out and added. This is something I had, I just had these flowers basically. This is the 52 GSM Tamoy River paper in cream so you can see the color difference side by side and this little illustration right here with a different date I added on um, later I just kind of made her hair to look like these flowers and added some washi um, now here I think I shown this before so I'll just briefly uh, remind you this is the um, hazel sewn kind of um, type of illustration I'm trying to do here a very loose indication of green uh, leaves and foliage but I didn't like most of it because I kind of found it very challenging so then couldn't resist going in with my uh, all-time favorite platinum carbon ink fountain pen in extra fine this is a uh, waterproof ink inside also carbon ink and just adding some details and again writing on the opposite page I've done uh, writing on a few pages here but then I will stop doing that as you'll see because I like the illustration to not be distracted um, because there will be a very certain type going through uh, every page as you'll see and I didn't want the destruction of the writing but if you don't mind that you can do that like you can see here for example there is writing on the other page and you can't really see too much if you do it with a very fine uh, pen so this is the girl and this was the first girl that I have drawn with the body and she is super super cute um, I gave her a round face and a very kind of um, doll-like shapeless Shape. body and that was the beginning of it and then later on I kind of added a few of these swatches and stickers and washi tape and then this one I have done while we were actually driving so this paper here is now the fourth type so we've got two Tamoy Rivers one in white one in cream and um, both 52 GSM and then the first one which I told you I don't like for uh, watercolor is this bluish white 
uh, Claire Fontaine. And then the fourth paper is the 85 GSM Fedrigoni Splendor Gel Avoria paper, and it's a natural cream. I quite liked it, um, I have to say, for both uh, inking and watercolour, but I realised that I like um, Tomoe River probably most. However, I did really enjoy this paper and it really, if I just grab this, it reminds me a lot on this, um, the uh, Midori MD cotton book, the A5 that I have shown you in a whole video so the paper does remind me a lot on that um, it's probably thicker than this and it's got like a nice sort of very silky feel to it compared to this paper but it's very similar and it's a similar color as well um, a little bit more whiter so I'm looking forward to be using this paper um, yet to find out how ink and watercolour looks on it but um, coming back to the illustration this was uh, something I've done back in November last year and then this one I decided to just sketch out as we were driving in the car um, on the way to uh, to our break in Cotswold and this is now becoming a little bit more uh, stylized and I'm starting to really feel and enjoy this sort of a style of a doll illustration and from that point I decided not to write anything on the background and just have a nice clean background uh, nothing distracting at the back and then this was when we were um, during the break I just decided to play around not too happy with this but this was just a pure experiment I used the Waterman ink um, to do the entire illustration and because it's a water soluble ink it just uh, would be very messy when I went over with watercolour so I then figured out a different way uh, to use it but I do like her face it's kind of cute um, this one was just sort of going back to the um, this one so this is the platinum carbon ink as you can see works beautifully you you, you have this nice detail uh, when you go over with watercolor but um, I think I was doing this in a dark room in the evening so I thought I was mixing up a black but it's like a kind of almost like a dark green color so I could only see that in daylight later on um, so I don't like that too much I don't like the face too much as well this is just again experimenting and taking this doll illustration to something I really like so the proportions that I enjoy most is a bigger head and you'll see that in a bit um, so here we go so this is now the proportion that I really enjoy so it's a big head and uh, long arms long legs short body and again the color is not the black that I was thinking it was and here I'm starting to draw some of these bunnies um, so here around the eye as well as here around the eye I'm using this pen right here all of the links will be below so this is the pilot gtech c maker in 0 0.4 and it's the browning it looks super beautiful when you go over with water it um, looks really really pretty so what i have done here is then um, started using the waterman ink just as an addition rather than just painting the entire thing so around the ears I would do that and then blend it inwards with a bit of water so you get that little bit of a run it's a very beautiful ink when you use it in a sort of right way um, to create beautiful um, effects however um, like I said I would not recommend it doing the entire illustration with this ink just because uh, it runs and then the other one the the trick that I have actually learned to do is first of all draw everything out with my platinum carbon ink and that way if the 
uh, waterman ink would be dissolved too much I would still have the line there from the previous ink because this is like I said a water um, waterproof ink so that way I quite like it I would add it in different places on the earring as a shadow it looks beautiful 